What's up everyone? I have a 5 jellyfish victory for today and you would think that this victory would be easy to get like jellyfish by itself is a very good unit but uh, in the case of uh, jellyfish we want it to be at least level 2 to be getting sizable buffs and uh, if you're going to go for 5 of them obviously you want to keep them separate so uh, a lot of the time you're not going to have level 2 jellyfish Thankfully this uh, run doesn't follow that rule because it just saw so many jellyfish that uh, I could do whatever I want and <laughs> it wasn't even a problem. But uh, yeah on the other hand I don't think I saw any clownfish that run or maybe I was just blind and the clown cl maybe even the clownfish didn't come until after I didn't need them anymore. But uh, yeah, the, the blobfish is also weren't that uh, numerous as well, so kind of unfortunate, but uh, as I said, I got so many jellyfish that it uh, kind of compensated for that. You can see I'm trying some weird place here, I don't usually buy the guinea pig, but I believe that I will, yeah. I'm trying to set up for a level up for the jellyfish and it's not like I'm hunting for the 5 of a kind jellyfish yet even, it's just that I like going uh, jellyfish early, it allows for some, um, some freedom in the late game. If you don't lose uh, lives in the early game you can afford to spend them in the late game trying to scale, maybe even chicken scaling the shop. I've been trying a uh, challenge, I think I should have uploaded it yesterday if I'm not uh, mistaken the 5 chicks so yeah I'm trying to shop scale from time to time and hoping that it works out some some of the time but uh, five, of, uh, 5 of a kind chicks kind of difficult to get uh, I'll be working on it still but uh, I don't have high hopes at least uh, a person of my sanity wouldn't be able to achieve it anytime soon Maybe if uh, some other pro gamers and very patient gamers were to try their luck, maybe they would get it, but um, I'm just grinding uh, one or two attempts a day, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, but yeah, I, I maybe shouldn't be talking about chicks, one time I got an angry comment saying uh, why are you talking about something that isn't there in itself, I'm like, <laughs> calm down man. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think I'll be getting a level 3 guinea pig this turn. Sadly, unless I'm willing to sell the flamingo, the uh, jellyfish in the shop isn't going to be getting uh, two buffs from the level ups, only one. And uh, from what I can see, I'm not even willing to sell it. Which I think is the right call, it's a 7-6 unit, ready to be leveled up itself. So it gives the jellyfish even stronger buffs and in battle it's very good as well. The flamingo is kind of a slept unit, I try to include it in any custom packs that I do just because it's so strong tempo wise. You can see here it takes out 2 units and gives the, the backline uh, 2 units uh, some buffs so that they can finish the job very strong, very good. I like it a lot. And yeah. You can see I'm not rolling any any clownfish, but uh, at least I found like what is it uh, four jellyfish now, and uh, the guinea pig uh, level helped a lot to scale them up. Now I'm fi uh, trying to get a goldfish level up. Uh, what am I saying? Not a goldfish, uh, blobfish. <laughs> all the all the fishes are tier two and three. Man, it's very confusing sometimes. But uh, yeah, my greediness is uh, coming back to bite me, so I'm losing this round and I think I'm going to be losing even more rounds because this team is not strong at all. I was contemplating a bit if I want uh, the Manta Ray on the team, you know I love that gold, but uh, I don't know, maybe I should have gotten it because this team isn't strong enough to win anyway, why not just greed it out. But I was like, what, maybe there's a slight chance, a very slight chance that I do end up winning this round. You can see I even buy a skunk hoping that I, I win a round, hoping to preserve lives. But I don't think I do, let's see, I, I don't entirely remember. Yeah, this, this is definitely a nail. Even though kind of close, they just have a cow remaining, but at this point in the game, 4 6 stats isn't uh, too little, so yeah, not, not uh, that close. 
I keep getting jellyfish, thankfully, and snails. Maybe the snails are the unsunk uh, heroes of the run. <laughs> I get another one even. And I have a level up on the jellyfish for next turn, hopefully leveling into an alpaca. At this point I think an alpaca is the only thing that can save the run. And another jellyfish. So if I get an alpaca it's going to uh, level the jellyfish to level 2 instantly. That is if I get the alpaca itself to level 2. A lot of hypotheticals but at this point the run is so far behind that I should be hoping for a miracle. And you can see I'm getting the double jellyfish plus a blobfish and I have a pill frozen in the shop so all I need is the alpaca and I do manage to get it uh, very luckily. I even get a bird of paradise if I decide to go for bird of paradise scaling but uh, I don't think this run requires it. I think it's better to have a slot open for the jellyfish so the alpaca can level two, two units a turn that I buy from the shop giving each uh, jellyfish plus two plus two which is a very sizable buff if you trigger it twice per, uh, twice per turn. And hopefully the jellyfish are even going to get higher than level 2, we'll see, I won't spoil too much. Thankfully I managed to grab a draw here, my team was a little bit weak but uh, I'm happy with the draw. I think the correct order here is buying the crow first, so that I have a free shop slot. The, the nice thing about crow is that when you sell it, it removes one of the foods, it just leaves one foot on there. So when you level with the alpaca you have a free slot open to, to get a unit. You can see I'll be doing a double level up here. First of all the uh, jellyfish, then uh, I level the other jellyfish with the chocolate that the crow gave me. And I think to finish it off I'll be combining two of the jellyfish together, yeah. To create a level 3 so that it scales even faster in the future and thankfully I got a hammerhead shark which means 3 more gold next turn. And I really didn't want to buy the oyster this turn because uh, I love the oyster alpaca combo, it gives you uh, so much gold. Like you buy the oyster for 3 gold, then you sell it for 8 gold, so you are so, so making a 5 gold profit, which is uh, a lot. <laughs> you wouldn't consider the alpaca to be the uh, gold generating unit. But yeah, it is with the oyster. With other units, it uh, just spends one gold because um, when you buy the unit, it uh, costs three gold. To, then when you sell it back, you get uh, two of the three gold back. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to find some uh, some ways to get the <laughs> the jellyfishes to level three, giving them chocolates, giving them some food to scale them up even further. But I think at this point the team is very strong, this is turn 11, don't forget. For turn 11 this team is extremely good. And you'll see next turn is where the, uh, the jellyfish start getting to max stats. I'm going to combine to get another level 3. Level another oyster giving me 5 gold. Then leveling up another jellyfish that I have frozen. Oh, even finding another jellyfish, I forgot about that part. But yeah, you can see the uh, jellyfish are nearing 50-50. All of them are level 3. And I get another hammerhead shark that maybe I keep until the end of the turn or I buy now. I think I should have kept it until the end of the turn, but I think this is fine also because I found, find the garlic. Melon would be better obviously and uh, lemon as well but I don't know if I had lemon in the pack. I maybe do, I'll, I'll try to keep up with the, <laughs> the shop items to uh, double check. But yeah at this point the three jellyfishes are uh, max uh, stats almost so I try to start scaling a fourth one which is kind of difficult because I can no longer cycle units. I do have some other options though, I have the shop foods, you can see the pizzas and pears rolling in and I'm also freezing some of the uh, buy sell units that could maybe help me. Like if I see a cow, I'll freeze it, you saw I froze a zebra, a zebra zebra, however you want to pronounce it. 
Also, the blue ring octopus is going to be very useful for that purpose, giving plus one plus one to everything. Uh, having a, a, an area of, of effect buffed is going to be very good because most of the units are uh, not entirely 50-50, so they need only a little bit of scaling to get them there. And the oyster is nice as well. One free gold every time, you'll have to see it. Uh, I don't know why I'm not transitioning yet, maybe I don't want to give up on the alpaca just yet because who, who sells a level 2 alpaca? But I have to do it sooner or later if I want to get the 5 jellyfish going. By the way, you could see that uh, in the front I uh, have a f not full 50-50 jellyfish but it has pepper on and I don't think that requires uh, getting to the full 50-50 stats because uh, I put it there trying to get, uh, to get it to trade with 50-50s with equipment. So uh, I think uh, the, the stats are enough for it to do that. So I'm trying to scale up the backline jellyfish and this one that I'm going to be buying maybe after I buy sell this zebra. And thankfully all the buffs did end up getting uh, did end up going to the uh, uh, backline jellyfish. So now I think everything is set, hoping to get some final food buffs next turn and this is going to be it. Very lucky to uh, pull this off without the clownfish and a pair which I think is ideal, getting the targeted buff, always nice. I would love to buy some of the buy sellables that are appearing in the shop but I don't have the space anymore. So yeah, this is going to be it, like, sub, do all the generic stuff, enjoy as we destroy this final team and uh, I'll see you next time, take care.